Frame and I will be making brand new hardcore Iron Man and after 6 weeks we fight. We both have invested a lot of time planning and strategizing and only one hardcore Iron Man comes out alive. There he is. Look at this guy, who does he think he is? Your name is such fake news, you're not winning. Why did you pick your name losing POV then, huh? <laughs> We're taking a shortcut straight to the Barbarian Village. I bet Frame doesn't know about this teleport. Look at him, he's so far behind. I'm already winning in this game. See you later. The first win for the losing POV. All right, we're gonna buy ourselves a Staff of Air and a Staff of Fire. I'm gonna do Varrock Museum really quick for the odd chance that I can get myself a Lava Dragon Slayer task as my first task. All right, Wilderness Slayer task time. Do we get Lava Dragons? And and <laughs> the worst task of them all. Oh my god. <laughs> no shot. I'm, I'm actually terrified, right? Wait, he logged. Surely he doesn't have an account. There is in magic. We're gonna speed run this lava dragon right now. Here we go, first kill. A fire talisman. My reasoning for being here at Lava Dragons is to get some starter prayer experience. I'm going for level 20 prayer, but also there's a high risk that I die here because there's a lot of PKers and I don't want to overstay my welcome. I gotta hop. Oh my god, level 48. It was so close to dead. It was so close to being dead. We log back in. It's dead. Oh my. We got absolutely nothing. Okay, at least we got two lava dragon bones. However, looting bag is not looking good at all. Air staff, you're gone. We need the money. Rune dart. Yeah, I'm out. We're now at the chaos altar. We got four bones. My goal is to get 20 prayer. That's four. That's six, eight, 10 prayer. Oh no, the luck is gone. 12 prayer on four bones. We're now gonna go on a questing spree to get our prayer up, combat sets up because I'm not going back to Lava Dragons anymore. And first quest, Restless Ghost. This will be the account's first quest completed. The Restless Ghost 1k prayer experience where 17 prayer X marks the spot, completed. Another quest completed, Rune Mysteries. Another quest completed, Vampire Slayer bumps my attack level to 20. Losing POV keeps winning. And from this you can get a lot of money. Really? Like wow. wow! Druidic Ritual, completed. Wait, is this gonna be enough runes for this final kill? Dude, you're the fucking goat, Tom. Oh no. This is not gonna be enough. While I'm trying to figure out how to kill this wolf and finish this quest, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Manscaped. I have been with Manscaped since 2021 and today we embark on a journey into their latest treasure chest. The perfect package 5.0 Ultra featuring their all new lawnmower 5.0 electric trimmer. This trimmer elevates your grooming game with its next generation dual skin safe blade heads, now accompanied by an upgraded trimmer blade and interchangeable foil blade for enhanced performance. The lawnmower is waterproof, it's upgraded with some bigger LED lights for those hard to reach areas, and a rechargeable Li-Ion battery with RPM technology for top notch performance. If you get the full performance package 5.0 ultra you will also get a lot of other useful tools to keep your hygiene fresh head over to manscape.com slash c engineer and use code c engineer for 20 percent discount plus free international shipping plus one free gift link in the description down below <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm out of spell. No way. <laughs> no. I've been here for 15 minutes. This guy is laughing at me. I think it's time. Uh, I'm getting nowhere with this wolf. This quest took longer than expected. Witch's house completed. Four quest points. 26 HP now. I feel a lot safer now. Uh, so we're gonna do some uh, big boy quests. 2k woodcutting experience. 8 Laurens. We have unlocked teleports. Waterfall quest. Our stats are popping off, 30 strength, 33 attack, 29 combat, Priest in Peril completed, Hazel Cult completed, 3 Gnome Village completed, Goblin Diplomacy completed, Plague City, another quest completed, Biohazard. Playing an early game hardcore armor is such a quest simulator, but it is the most efficient way to play a hardcore armor, just complete as many quests as possible in the beginning, the useful one of course. And with the quest The Lost Tribe completed, we got ourselves a Ring of Life, this will make this account a a little bit more safe. My first easy casket on the the hardcore Iron Man. Good luck. Absolute. Oh wait, 6k cash. That's actually good for me. I was pretty broke. One of the best early grinds you could do on an Iron Man 
is this one right here the rd cloak the rd cloak from the rd ashima diary is that you teleport here unlimited teleports to an altar very close to a spirit tree right there and a fair ring right there another quest completed fight arena we are now 41 attack the rune scimitar grind starts right here samurai warriors drop rate 1 in 50. i've unlocked the rune scimitar after nine kills here all right, we're done with the grind. Me and Framed are also raising in subscribers, so if I hit 300,000 subscribers before he hits 500k, I win. Jungle potion completed. Ah, oh, finally, the dig site quest completed. A requirement for desert treasure, but also a requirement for bone voyage. I really want to complete bone voyage right now to access fossil island, but to complete this, we're gonna need 100 museum kudos. And I don't know if I have enough. All right, let's see how much kudos we actually got here. Um, 83, 88, 93, 90. I'm two kudos away. We completed the Shield of Arab for the final five kudos, but we also get a bonus XP lamp, which we put on prayer. Bone Voyage completed. We have now unlocked Fossil Island. Ammonite Crabs is gonna be my long-term prayer method. Short-term, it's not that good, but long-term, it's very good if I decide to AFK a lot. And whenever I need to AFK, I will be coming here. Now with the Ammonite Crabs unlocked, we have to get our strength bonus up so we can get faster XP per hour. Death Plateau completed. Now we can wear the climbing boots. Plus 44 melee strength to plus 46, so a tiny little boost. Okay, my money maker has now been completed. Death to Dorgeshen, a good old classic money maker on a hardcore Iron Man. It's been a very long time since I've seen anyone do this money maker. But after Death to Dorgeshen, you can come to these guard in the Ham Guard storeroom, pickpocket these guards, and you get necklace and jewelry. First key worth 1.2k, and yes, if you consistently do this, you can get a lot of money. Oh, there it is, the ruby amulet for a strength ammy. That was the upgrade that I wanted from here. And I got enough money for days, so I think I'm done here. I'm just gonna open the last keys. <sighs> Big quest completed, the grand tree. 31 agility, 45 attack, 32 magic, 39 combat. I just realized I'm gonna need 49 magic to make myself a strength amulet. So I'll be AFKing magic here for a while. And I got myself full mithril, so I'm never gonna need any food. Okay, I really never wanna come back here to Lundial for some runes, but we're gonna buy ourselves some cosmic runes, law runes. Oh my god, I wasted all my GP. Alright, that's fine. I can make myself the dual ring, I can make myself games necklace, I can make myself magic amulet. All nice little upgrades. Oh my... Um... I think I could have died by the Spitting Wyvern. That's scary! Oh, I would have cried if I died to the Spitting Wyvern. Oh my god, is that the first chance I've had on the account? Oh man, that, I'm never going down there to lose aggro anymore. Oh boy. Oh, that was actually terrifying. <clears throat> the, the name losing POV suits me very well right now, after that chance. The, another easy casket? Do we get any fashion scape? Uh, okay. Nothing. Oh, Lauren's actually good. Alright, that's enough Ammonite Crabs AFK for a bit. We got 47 magic. Wizard bomb, Mind Bomb up. We can now upgrade to a strength amulet, but also a nice little dig site pendant teleport. Use this dig site pendant on this thing right here, and we have unlocked dig site teleports to Fossil Island. You know, one day I'm gonna get something good from these easy caskets, and that day is not today. Uh, that's making history completed. We're slowly getting our prayer level up 24. And we also get a bonus antique lamp for additional prayer experience. That's 25. Ghost Ahoy completed 2.4k prayer experience. The levels just keep going up. I've decided to try to do Dragon Slayer on a low level account. 38 HP, 39 strength, uh, 45 combat. It's definitely gonna be worth it as long as I don't die. Just make sure to save up all the time and it should be fine. I'm the Dragon Slayer, the Dragon King. He's dead. And that's Dragon Slayer 1 completed. Another win for losing POV. Look at my stats. 43 strength now, 35 defense, 50 combat. I'm gonna kill some blue dragons for prayer. I need two levels more so I can get rid of this antique lamp. It's just killing my inventory right now. 30 prayer, we can finally use this stupid lamp. 31. There's nothing actually we can get from an easy clue scroll that's useful. Let's see what we get. 
Ooh, purple sweets, that's actually useful. Knight sword completed, 12k smithing, 29 smithing, little quest completed, murder mystery. We need our crafting up right now, 15 crafting. I finally came around to completing this quest. We put our experience on agility, and that's tourist trap completed. Uh, Thoric's quest completed. First overhead prayer unlocked, magic. Second overhead prayer unlocked, protect from missiles. You may be wondering what just happened. Well, I'm gonna pretend to be dead, post an image to the Discord and see if we can get a funny reaction from Kevin. <gasps> oh no! Tom died! Tom died! No! No way Tom's dead. How, bro? Kev, you win! Remake. You won! I win! You win! Kev, you win! Oh, you actually just baited. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Uh, Wait, I had no idea about this, but I just did some research and apparently, if you talk to this information clerk, you get some experience. Yeah, I got 28 crafting. Here it is. 43 prayer. All overheads has been unlocked. I can now finally do a quest I've been wanting to complete. All right, it's time for Monkey Madness. Pretty scary quests, but I think I should be fine with 43 prayer, 47 HP. I could be stacked out if I don't conserve my prayer, but we're gonna take the risk. If I miss a prayer any time during this quest, they could potentially stack me out, so I gotta be very, very careful doing this quest. So I, I'm gonna close all streams, Netflix, I'm gonna close everything. I will be running the Monkey Madness maze without any prayer potions, so I'm gonna use Monk's ropes to preserve my prayer. Now we just wait for it to go low HP and then we do the final hit to get the kill. And there we go, Monkey Madness 1 completed, we can now get ourselves a Dragon Scimitar. We can also get some experience. See the XP drops, there we go, 110k worth of experience on various skills. Oh, there's so many upgrades I can get right now. Full rune is an upgrade. Dragon scimitar, dragon dagger. All right, getting attack levels is a bit slower than I thought. So we're gonna get myself some upgrade. We start with the gloves. All right, first part of the recipes for disaster completed. Goblin generals has been free. We can have a bigger upgrade, but we can now buy bronze gloves. All right, that's Fremnic trials completed. Helm upgrade, but I'm broke, so I need some money. And we're gonna go to my next money maker. I will be AFK here by the Ogres Warriors, a very popular PvP hardcore item spot for money and basic experience. It drops some runite items and you can save spot them. Rune medal, that's 10k high up. Alright, we got the money. We got over 78k now. We are at the shop and we are buying ourselves the Berserker Helm. Nice little upgrade for plus. So, oh, can't even wear it yet, uh, but it can give us plus 3 melee strength, 45 defense, berserker helm on, now straight to 60 attack. Oh, there it is, the 60 attack, it's over, the grind is done, we can now get ourselves a dragon scimitar, we just need 100k cash. And there it is, 100k cash after a few hours in the hand guard storeroom, can I buy one? There it is, we got this dragon scimitar. When this hardcore Iron Man episode with 60 attack, 55 strength, 649 total. I've got something big planned for the next episode, so make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss that one. And if you wanna watch week one progress from Frame's point of view, make sure to check him out. Goodbye.